we're walking today. Slightly overweight, middle-aged man. <laughs> Too old for the Scott Base Choppers will be here to pick up the team in 15 hours. Time to go back to Scott Base. It's an early start this morning, and we've got to break the camp down. Get my stuff packed. Looking forward to a shower. But not everyone is ready. Yeah, so I mean, science in the, in the dry valleys has gone really well. Uh, we've knocked off pretty much all of our sample sites, except the two of us. That's Kurt and I are going to go up the mountain over there and uh, hit off the last sample site. Whilst the rest of the team down here takes care of pulling together the camp. It's going to be a, a fairly long day. Yeah. Science may only take 30 minutes, an hour maybe, but four hours of walking to get to that site. You ready? Let's do this. The dry valleys are unlike any place else on Earth. Every step you take is actually an exceptionally unique one. You're walking in an area that has never been experienced by another human being. You kind of get completely captivated. But at the same time, your body feels incredibly tired. The impact from walking hits you, and it's pretty tough. Stop for a second. Awesome. The mummified feel actually pretty, pretty good condition. Yeah, it is for up here. This valley is 30 miles from the ocean. And it's so cold and dry that dead organic tissue can be preserved for decades or longer. You know, this, this guy's probably been sit, sitting here for a couple of hundred years. You know, they've come a long way to get here. These guys are not very good at navigating when there's a storm. When they get lost, and they just they continue to walk until they, they die. The dryness of the system will slowly dehydrate them, and then they'll just shrink and become mummies. The question is really is how they got here, because it's really difficult to get from the ocean into this valley. It's one of these uh, dry valley mysteries. Move on to our next sites. Still got quite a lot to go. 